Hello, beautiful beings. I'm eating dinner right now, but I just wanted to let you know that I graduated the lust lesson completely and I just got a gold star. <laughs> I thought I was already through it because I just have his dog all the time and I've hardly been interacting with him at all. But he messaged me last night at 1.30 in the morning. My phone's down, so it doesn't bother me. I got it this morning, and he said, sure wish I wasn't sleeping alone right now. <laughs> and I messaged him this morning, and I said, well, if you're sleeping, how do you know if somebody's beside you anyway? <laughs> and so he just now messaged me like 10 minutes ago and said, do you want to watch a movie or something? Well, he wants to or something. And I sent back, I sent him a couple voice clips. I sent back, I said, well, I've realized recently that the only reason I ever wanted to be in a relationship with you is so I could have sex with you. <laughs> and I said, and, and since I realized that also for sure that we're never going to be in a relationship, I've realized that we we're never, ever going to have sex. So knowing all that, see if you still want to watch a movie or something with me. So I sent that and about five minutes later, <laughs> I got back. Well, being your friend, <laughs> being your friend, I'm already in kind of a state. So it would probably be best if we didn't hang out tonight. And I said, good call. And that was it. He sent me a bunch of messages since then, but, um, I've been trying to record a video <laughs> and I've been stopping and re-recording. I'm just going to keep it super short. So I just feel very proud of myself that I have accepted the full reality of the situation. And it was a doozy because the attraction was just so intense. And just feeling that coming from him also it was very flattering for a while. It wasn't flattering after a while because it's such a turnoff to me when a man just keeps approaching me over and over and, and he's just got sex written all over him. You know, he's like a, he's like a billy goat. To me my sister used to have this billy goat he was the most one of the most disgusting creatures i've ever encountered probably the most disgusting creature i've ever encountered he yeah he, he was terrifying and anyway so that's what it feels like when a man that's right they're reminding me of the other billy goat he had he had really big horns and he was wrapped around a tree and I heard, I kept hearing this noise coming from over by this tree, but I couldn't see anything. And this billy goat had wrapped himself around this, the base of this tree and he was strangling to death. And I, I mean, it took a bit, uh, quite a lot, but I got him free and then he tried to kill me. So yeah, they're also reminding me of this man during that time that started coming around me the same time that billy goat attacked me. They are terrifying creatures. I keep saying creatures because their eyes, the Nubians, I believe have these, like these slitted eyes going, going vertically. Oh, and they're just, yeah, they're so aggressive anyway. So yeah, I, 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 they're reminding me of that man. And so when a man comes at me like that, it's just like, ugh, they're, you're just not that attractive anymore at all. Plus I don't wear my glasses when I'm around him. So his features are a little bit blurry and that has helped a lot. <laughs> the divine partner that God is sending to me knows the combination to my heart because, because the attraction between us is, is because the, it is a divinely orchestrated union. That is the most beautiful attraction we could ever have. And we will be, they're saying that we will be also physically attracted to each other, but we're walking the same path. And, and this man has been doing his work and he's been ascending and he's been facing his fears and shedding and shedding and shedding and, and, you know, doing all the shadow work. And did you know unicorns are not rare, but my unicorn man no man has ever figured out or they just haven't been in the place to be able to do this. Any man that goes through my heart is they will get everything they've ever wanted. They could have ever imagined, uh, out of a partner. 
because that that is the most attractive to me that even if this man wasn't incredibly well I ha I have to there has to be there has to be a, a, an attraction though I've tried being with men because they were so nice that I had no attraction to and it never ever worked and it never would but I mean he doesn't have to be incredibly handsome or anything but he will be to me because of his heart and his deep desire to be my friend and nothing else until the time is right it'll just be uh, unfolding very organically and like a river it'll be it'll just be flowing that felt like some manifestational work I just did yeah Abraham Hicks is so good at telling a new story and uh, doing rampages of appreciation and yeah Abraham Hicks is absolutely amazing all right I think that's it for now I'm gonna go pig out and really enjoy my evening I hope you do too or your morning or your afternoon or wherever you whatever you're doing middle of the night <laughs> so song with mama g at gmail.com we love you so much